Hi, welcome to ASC Table Talk. I'm Dr. Kevin Linfield. With me today is Matt Gentry, Senior Engineer here at Airflow Sciences. Matt, what are we talking about today? Today we're going to talk about velocity measurement probes. We've got a standard pitot probe and an S-type pitot probe on the table here. With two different probes, what are, what are the big differences between these two probes? So both probes are similar in that they use uh, differential pressure to determine the velocity. The standard probe is used for cleaner applications, HVAC type testing. The relatively small hole uh, on the tip can be prone to plugage. So for industrial situations where you might have particulate you'd want a different style probe, and that's where a probe like the S-type probe or reverse impact probe comes into play because it can be more resistant to uh, plugage from that small particulate. So in addition to measuring velocity, I'm noticing this one has a uh, K-type thermocouple on this? Yep. Uh, typically, depending on the size of the probe, you can have a thermocouple integrated into an S-type measurement probe. The standard probe is usually a little bit too small for that, so if you're doing a traverse with the standard pitot, you would do a separate temperature traverse. Now, what EPA method would these be uh, compliant with? Uh, S-type probes can be used for method 2 or 2G. And if I had one of these probes, you know, how do I, how do I calibrate it? The calibration is outlined in EPA method 2, and that is, requires an EPA-certified wind tunnel. Typically, you're going to calibrate at uh, at least 60 and 90 feet per second to determine your probe calibration factor. I understand that uh, Airflow Sciences manufactures these in the lab here in Michigan? Yep, we fabricate at the probes. We also have a wind tunnel to do calibration in-house. Well, thank you very much for the information, Matt. I'm Kevin Linfield with Airflow Sciences Equipment, and this has been ASC Table Talk. Thank you.